What you gonna do, brother? When all those slimy ghosts runs wild on you? Hello, G Nation. We got a brand new character preview. This time it is Hulk Hogan Ghostbusters. Yes, the Hulk Master is getting his own Ghostbuster character. Looks pretty cool with the bandana and everything. Uh, he's a trickster again. His training ability at 26,000. His black move starting MP reduced by 10 for your opponents. Links with the Ghostbusters and the Legend Era and no other gear. Now, the first move set we're going to have a look at is the Carpathian Crusher. 10 MP purple move finisher deals 199.4k damage and choose a 7x1 area to swap into red gems. The Soul to the Soul 6 MP red move deals 74.3k damage and choose a 1x7 area to swap into purple gems. The pin bar will not move. And the tangibility test, 7 MP purple move, deal 86.7k damage, and choose 4 gems to make into pyro gems, which will modify all gems above it into wildcard gems when broken by you. Now the trainers we're going to be using for that, we're going to use Sting so that we start with more red. Uh, we're also going to be using uh, Mutant Doink, which adds 150% uh, damage to the finisher. You can... You what? What the? I don't. I don't know if you heard that. If it, if the mic got it, but we just had a major explosion and the whole house just like shook. I don't know if we had an explosion or a earthquake or or something, but oh, oh, hold on, my my daughter's screaming. I'll be right back. And we're back. Well, that was an earthquake. I uh, just looked it up. 4.3 earthquake, two kilometer away from my house. That is very damn close. Way too close. Uh, for those in the, the US, that is 1.24 miles away. That is very damn close, 4.3. So yeah, we definitely felt that one. My daughter was like pretty shook up about it because that's our first earthquake. Can't remember the last time I had one, so yeah, pretty damn rare. That uh, that's a bit freaky while you're recording and doing something. Anyway, life goes on. So uh, trainers, I don't know where I was at. So we're gonna be using Sting, so that red move starts with four more MP. Uh, we're gonna use Mutant Doink, so that the purple finisher does 150% more damage. Uh, we're gonna use Gooker, so that any color move adds 25%. Could be using also Hall of Fame Trish, which would add 25% specifically of purple. And uh, I'm gonna use Santa Hogan. Don't care about the extra one MP. It's all about the 2200 more damage for every color, because we're gonna have those wild car card all over the place. So we want extra damage of any color. Yeah, you could go for it more, more move damage. Uh, with those trainers, that gives us a finisher of 548,000, but we're gonna be boosting that a bit with a tier five purple metal. Unfortunately, it is a yellow running wild. That's the only tier five uh, purple percentage I got. All the ones I got are flat, so that's the only one. Uh, so I'm using that. So I have two running wild metals, which obviously ain't doing much for me because it adds 55% yellow gem. I'd rather have 40% of all gem like the other two Furies, Fury two are gonna do but I really want that extra 200% for the purple move that will make or uh, finisher it for a lot more. As far as skill plates, you really don't need any skill plate for this. Uh, I went with Cheap Shot just because it helps if I land a gem critical hit. His first time trying to get out of it is gonna do 50% less. Uh, there's, like I said, like any of the red and purple metals, they won't really, like you don't need them for that. Uh, you could go with any of the uh, metals that bring that like uh, put some uh, power gems or this one creating X, but and you're gonna get rid of them anyway just because you're gonna be breaking the whole board so it's kind of pointless really uh, i if i wasn't going with cheap shot i might go with something like the uh the omas plate whenever you break four or more red make four random gems into reds because then 
it's going to lay them, but I mean, none of, the, none of it is going to be much of a difference. So go with whatever you have. Let's give that a shot. We're going to go versus uh, Parhouse Ogin with the Santa suit. All right. So we're going to lay that. And you got to keep in mind, this one also uh, does not move the pin bar. So you can place it somewhere where it's going to match with other things. But you got to keep in mind, though, wherever you put it, the bottom is going to be a wild card. And next turn, or next turn, but next action, you're going to be laying down those uh, pyro gems. So you can't really lay a pyro gem where you're going to have a wild card. So, for example, if I want to have because uh, those pyro are going to be making a bunch of uh, wild cards, which means you don't really want to put them beside each other because you want to be able to break the whole board with only those four. That means you either want to put a wild card right there, right there, right there, right there, or you want to have one, two, three, four. That way, all in column in between columns are going to work out so that's what i'll do i'll put it here just so the wild card drops here and it frees the one on the left and the right you will see what i mean when we do it next turn so there you go so now we're going to put our four pyro gems so we're going to put one two three four because that way it's going to be wild card all the way over those which mean that it's going to connect with every single one of those gems in between because it's going to connect with one uh, wild card on each side you could also instead put them like one two three four like that because that way you will you would have two columns of uh, wild card which mean they would connect with the one on the left and the one on the right that would work too but like you wouldn't want to do that because then you would have one column that won't break for this purpose, we're going to do these four. There you go. And now we're going to be using the finisher that does about a million plus whatever we're going to get from all those uh, wild cards. Blow them up. Old board destroy. Eh, 2.7 mil. Still pretty good. I would have thought we'd get more than that. I kind of want to try it again just to see if it was maybe due to the gems we got because 2.7 seems a bit low for this. I mean, it's obviously more than enough at 5-star gold. I'm sure we can do better. Let's try that again. Let's drop the speed a bit. All right, so let's do it again. I'm going to try... To do it the other way, uh, although I kind of like all those reds everywhere. Let's put it here. It's going to connect with those purple too, and the pin bar is not going to move anyway. We're keeping those purples there. Let's put our pyros. One, two, three, four. And let's break them all. Let's see how much we're going to get this time. We got 2.7, I think, last time. Three point twenty eight. That's a sizable difference. I'll take that. All right, so that works out pretty damn well. Uh, let's have a look at something else. All right, second move set we're going to have a look at is the Fear No Ghost. 7 MP purple move. Choose three columns you make into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, steal up to 165.6k alt. If broken by you, deal 82.8k damage. The Spectre Squeeze, 7 MP blue move. Submission generate 22 random submission gems. 
and do 128.4k damage for four turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into silence gem and a transformative psychic epi episode. 7 MP blue move deal 91k damage and choose two gems to make into two turn juggernaut gem that will deal 64.6k bonus damage for every silence gem on every countdown turn and increase your blue MP by four at the end of the countdown. Our trainers we're going to use for that, we're going to go double MP so that all our moves are going to be ready on the same turn. So that is Woods and Lawler. Uh, we're going to put Roman Tech so that our blue submission is going to do 50% more and last one more turn. And I'm adding Shelton here so that my submission does another 20% uh, damage per turn, making the submission 224.7k damage for five turns. So well over a million just out of the submission right there. Uh, keep a note, if you have uh, Showboat Shinsuke Nakamura, which I don't, and which doesn't work anyway, but eventually when they fix him, it's gonna make it so you steal more health. Uh, quite a size, I don't remember what the percentage, I think it's like 100% more or something like that. It's really, really good. But unfortunately he doesn't work yet and I don't have him anyway. So he would be a great option down the line. Now, as far as metal, as far as plate, completely irrelevant. None of those are gonna have any effect on this. Let's try it. Okay. So we're gonna lay our columns of traps. Let's go with those. Now we're going to put our Juggernaut Gems. Obviously I'm going to try to stay away from yellow and red because he's likely going to target those. Let's try to go with those too. And now let's put our Sub Gems. So the Sub alone is going to be about a million plus whatever he breaks in the traps. That's going to be some extra damage as well. There you go, that was a pretty sizable amount of damage on its own. Okay, so now I just add the first shot of those Juggernaut that took out the remaining of his health. Because remember, the first shot does 64k damage for every Silence Gem, and look at how many we got here. Now, do I have some blue or purple? I don't, unfortunately. Now, can I... I just need to get a pin now. I don't really have anything to help me out here, but I'm going to need what I need on the next... I'm going to get what I need on the next turn anyway. Well, actually, I did there with a Cascade. <laughs> but next turn, I would have got the last round of those Juggernaut, which would have given me blue, and that would have taken him out. Well, let's... This is not always going to go well as it just did, so let's do this properly and try it a second time and see how it goes a second time. Okay, let's do the same thing again. Cover red and black. Let's put our juggernauts. And our sub. Again, the sub alone is over a mil. He hit a lot of our traps. Wow, he's already out of health. There goes what he had left. <laughs> Get the blue here, even though I would have got it on the next turn. See, this time we didn't cascade for the win. And 
I don't even need to put the juggernauts. Just the submission is going to generate the pin. All right, this is very damn effective. Plus, being the fact that it's a submission and 530 is a decent amount of turn. That's usually more than enough to take out the uh, MP that he wouldn't use. And apart from the bonus he can get, normally just a match shouldn't give him his move back. So, yeah, I like that. Definitely dependable. Let's, uh, let's try one more. For our last move set we're going to have a look at. It's going to be the Soul to the Soul. 6 MP red move, deals 74.3k damage, and choose a 1 by 7 area to swap into Purple Gem. The pin bar will not move. And now we're going to use the Supernatural Slam, which is a 4 MP red move, deals 79.3k damage, and choose a 5 by 5 area to make into Multiply Gems of Strength 7. And the Carpetian, Carpetian Crusher. 10 MP purple move finisher deals 199.4k damage and choose a 7 by 1 area to swap into red gem. So we're kind of similar setup to what we did the first time around. Uh, although this time we're going to be using those multiply gems to try to get both or lines in it. Uh, obviously the first one is not even going to move so we should be able to use everything on the same turn. Should do a decent amount of damage. Uh, we're going to be using uh, Sting so that we start with our red. Uh, we're going to put Matt so that our multipliers are going to be increased by 2. Rock so it's increased by another one, making it straight of 10. And I'm putting Macho King here so that both our purple and our red are getting 20% more damage. Could be using Santa Ogun for a flat 2200. That would work fine as well. Uh, now, that being said, another option you could do would be instead of using the Carpathian Crusher here, you could go with the uh, the Tangibility Test, which is 7 MP Purple Move, and that's the move that make your uh, Pyro Gems that you can try and set up so that it breaks, but it looks like a lot of hassle to get going. Uh, probably a lot of planning, thinking where you're gonna put thing, and then you could possibly recycle forever because you break them with the uh, pin bar that won't move, but that looks like a lot of trouble for something you can easily achieve in a much faster way with the other movesets. So let's give that a shot. Uh, we're gonna keep using the same setup we have with, uh, on the first time around, which add the big purple metal to try to increase our finisher. I did switch the plate though for the two word for ya try to generate some eggs break to maybe break some extra gem. We'll see if that works out or not. Again, another move said that the plate is no big deal whatsoever. All right, so. Well, let's put... Let's put it here. Uh, let's put it here. Okay. I'm going to put it there because I kind of don't want to get rid of this line here that's going to connect with the red. I'm going to get that X2. Oh, we did get the red at the same time. That's perfect. That actually turned out better than I wanted to, so I'll take it. That way we can get another Korea. Uh, this time... Actually, we can use that. We can use the exact same we just did because it refilled with the red. We'll be able to keep that there. I'm going to put it here. Because that's going to be a lot of multipliers. Yeah, just got 3.1 million out of that. And now we'll get the pin with that. Just put it here. That way we're going to get four multipliers on top of an X. That's going to grab a couple extra. Actually, even that one is going to grab more. 
we still get an X, but we get more of those. So let's get rid of that. That worked out pretty damn well. And uh, I think we did like boat moveset previously. We did a second shot, so what the hell? Let's let's try it another time and see if this was a fluke. There. Get those purples. It's going to connect with those two as well. 1.7 mil. Now we can get the reds, and they're going to connect with those here and those here. That way, connect those two and those two. Plus, we're gonna get four here. That should do a pretty good amount as well. And an extra cascade. I don't know how much that did, but that did more than the hell he had left. I like that as well. I like all three, really. But yeah, it's an Ogun. It's a pretty damn good character. Well, it's a Hogan. The other Hogan ain't that great anymore, but this one definitely is. So yeah, that is a pretty much it for the brand new Ghostbuster Hulk Hogan. Thanks for watching. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. Have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. Gia. Ciao.